Now, uh, for the frequency of the turbulent wind and earthquakes, the influence or the slope on the building depends on the dynamic characteristic of the building in relation to the dominant frequency range of the loading. For example, a stiff building with a period of 0.5 seconds would only be slightly affected by the wind, but the effect of the earthquake on this building could be serious. So uh, it also depends on your structure, uh, soft structure or stiff structure. On the other hand, for the tall with flitch roll, okay, the, uh, this one we call it the uh, flitch roll. Sorry, flitch ball, flitch ball bidding, okay, flitch ball bidding and stiff bidding. Also, period we use uh, the time period the same. But uh, this one, the moderate earthquake, maybe has no three effect, but the wind it control. So it uh, different on the bidding for the steep bidding or for the flitch uh, ball bidding. So the load control is different for the wind load and for the earthquake load. So wind load control the design. Now let's check the bidding dynamics. Uh, I'm not talking about. Uh, uh, I'm not diving in in into deep for the dynamic we we focus about only the concept design and how to apply it. Now let's check for the cantilever column. We apply the P Z T, the horizontal force, and the result of displacement due to the lateral loading. And also, when you apply the wind load, the structure is respond. The the uh, the energy force apply loading. You have to check about the rate of loading. If the rate of loading is uh, slow or very slow, you can design it in a static analysis. If the rate of loading apply an impact on the structure, you must to design design it for the dynamic load. The structural response, you see here, the structural response, side air deflection, internal force stress, etc. And acceleration generate the en energy force. This one is the energy force. Energy force is the uh, essential uh, characteristic of structural dynamic problem. Uh, damage, uh, the magnitude of energy force depend on the the rate of loading. Okay, you apply it slowly or apply it uh, quickly, like uh, the seismic load or wind load. The building stiffness or stiffness of the building, it depend on RE. So the uh, magnitude of energy force it depend on RE. So you can reduce it by increase the RE and slow down the rate or apply load, uh, rate or loading. The mass or the structure you can increase the mass or structure. If the loading is applied slowly, the energy forces are small in relation to apply loading, and may be neglected. And should the problem can be stated as static, okay. In this cantilever column, if you apply uh, the horizontal load slowly, no response, no uh, the energy for uh, occur in uh, this uh, cantilever column. So uh, it is also affect on the structure when you apply the 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 load. So we we have to consider the rate or loading. Okay, the thickness of the structure and the mass of the structure. Effect of all of the lateral forces on tall building. You see here one building or one cantilever structure when you apply load. In this case, when you apply the static load, okay, the displacement is fit at this depression or increase depend on time but not uh, quickly change if you apply load 
n the n and s the data is uh, the result of the deflection due to the horizontal and increased by the p data effect but in the building, tall building, the effect of the load is not a constant or fit at the posi uh, position. It can be sway back and forth as a result when you apply the wind load. Now let's check about the 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 uh, building uh, sway uh, building in uh, a tape to clarify about uh, the uh, topic. Tall building are uh, in effect vertically cantilever beam and will naturally respond to the lateral force by moving in direction the force is applied. So now we talk about the natural response. In this one, no, uh, and it's no damping, uh, damper. We apply on the column, and this column respond it naturally. And since wind and seismic force are not static, the structures will tend to sway back and forth at the result when you apply the force. Okay, apply the force, and uh, this is important for the wind and earthquake. Your structure is not uh, it it not stay at rest. It uh, sway and uh, sway back and forth at the uh, result of the deflection due to the uh, horizontal load. Now let's check. We open the existing model. We zero direction. If you here, check the acceptable. Now let's check. Okay, observe when you apply uh, the seismic load or wind load, the structure is sway. Okay, sway back and force. Sway back and force a uh, result. Okay, sway back and force for the motor shape, the first motor shape. Okay, and that the period is two point four uh, uh, fifty four. And we will uh, discuss more about natural frequency and time period. Now let's continue. Effect of the lateral force on tall building. Wind, wind uh, sensitive, so uh, you have to check the slenderness ratio. If the slenderness ratio is over five, uh, this time is the tall building, with the high being the high of the tall building and. Uh, and D being the narrow world dimension of its span cross section structural frequency is the first cantilevering bending mode of the structure sitting at the frequency lower than so, uh, 46 over H H uh, the, the total height of the building in matter so you, you have to check it when we uh, we design in a tape. Okay, when you design in a tape, as the run analysis and design, we check in the first order analysis. You can compare this data. The structural frequency. Okay, 
the structural frequency mode set do the first mode of vibration appear to very three dimensional the uh, three dimensional could the torsional be a total beating be of any concern natural or the area surrounding the side it is the tall building is relatively close approximately to a few tall structures of comparable missing and scale okay if uh, your surrounding building has another tall building or another building you should to consider about the uh, uh, interference effect be of any concern you have to check it now uh, let's jump to example for the wind in a surface stability limit state you may, you may respond to bidding motion okay you may respond to bidding motion you may feel when your your bidding sway back and forth when your your bidding sway now let's check it again about uh, this video You see here when your beating spray. So the human on the floor can fail to limit the the defiling and uncomfortable. You have to limit the vertical uh, lateral deflection and check the nat natural frequency. Now let's continue. From the visibility point of view, three check and the wind load are important. So you have to check uh, the trees or over overall over trees or uh, story trees in the uh, circuit load and the uh, wind load. For example, all the uh, building 150 meter, the the total height of the building. This uh, tight bidding is less than tall. Tall bidding with the first dominant cantilever mode sitting at 0 0.3 Hz, which is experiencing under 10 year return period wind an overall bidding tree of the 0 0.25 meter. Now, uh, at, at the result in this sample, In this sample, the overall overall thrust of the building is 0 0.25 meter, and the building height is 150 meter. The the natural frequency is 0 0.3 hertz. So now we had to check the. Uh, would be satisfy the most drenching code of practice or not. So we assumed the ten percent of overall building tree is governed by dynamic. Okay, but if you can be changed from the building shape, it can range from uh, ten percent to fifty percent. Now in the case is the building shape is uh, irregular, and we flat the core wall symmetry and we have the wall so we can assume it the tension of overall building tree is uh, covered by dynamics the resulting ensues peak acceleration would be 9 milli gal now let's check if you assume a uh, 10 percent of the overall building tree tension of 0 0.25 meter now uh, let multiply 10 percent with the 0 0.25 meter multiply with 2 multiply with pi multiply with the uh, frequency hertz 0 0.30 hertz so you will got 0 0.09 m per square second the square second is equal to 9 milligal uh, mil milligal now let's check 
calculator calculator C and zero point one multiply with zero point twenty five multiply with two multiply with pi 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 is equal to three point fourteen sixteen multiply with the frequency zero point three multiply with two So the value is 0 0.094. Yes, after you uh, get the value, you have to compare it. The rank in the rank, type coli for the rest, uh, rest dental occupancy, uh, occupancy comfort. The rank is 10 to 15 milligrams. So uh, the value is uh, lower than the uh, the allowable rank. The allowable rank is 10 to 15. When we design, the result is 9 milligal. So you have to to check it. The your structure is in drain or not? To make sure it's not uh, it's acceptable for the. For the human living on the floor, no uh, uncomfort feeling. We call the sway. We call the dynamic effect of the structure. The wind in shoe peak with uh, acceleration would be indicate B forty five milligal. Okay, if we increase from ten uh, percent to fifty percent, this is the dynamic dynamic of fall. If we use fifty uh, percent of the overall building tree, zero point twenty five, the result, the peak acceleration, okay, acceleration is forty five milligal. So uh, this one is is it the criteria? The criteria is in ten to fifteen milligal for occupancy comfort. Now you can control uh, your bidding. You can check for the lateral, okay. Check for the lateral deflection or overall trees, uh, story story trees. You have to check about the natural frequency. You have to check about the acceleration to make sure acceleration in uh, criteria design criteria in rank. Or uh, 10 to 15 milligal. Now continue to the modified stiffness. In uh, the term of modified stiffness, it's talk about the uh, seismic, but we uh, apply it the same with the wind load. Now in the case we use uh, this modified uh, stiffness, apply for the. Uh, the similar force, dynamic force, fit load. The element, textural walls, basement wall, coupling beam, coupling beam uh, connect between, uh, you can check for the more terminology, coupling beam, tie in Google. Uh, this beam is uh, it about the opening of the core wall, you can check about the coupling beam. Diaphragm, diaphragm. We uh, refer to the floor, the step, moment frame beam, or, or more. Uh, and the last one is the moment frame columns. For the Swiss, Swiss, you can use zero point nine ig. Ig is the cross, cross or uncracked uh, stiffness of the fall. You can calculate it. It's a direct. Uh, rectangular B multiply with 8 power 3 over over 12 this is the cross cross area with the cross uh, energy of the section but in term of the correct or uncorrect section you have to classify it the subway and the ultimate 
add the ultimate you can modify the column to 0 0.7 and beam to 0 0.35 to design reinforcement and for the the slave can modify it 0 0.25 and for the coplane beam you can modify it to 0 0.2 and for the basement wall, you can modify it to 0 0.8 H for the pressure roll and for the sear. And for the service, you can modify it 0 0.9 Ig for the wall and basement wall. You can uh, keep it because uh, at the basement, not uh, you're not concerned about the tensile stress for the tall uh, tall building for the resisting frame for the core wall you can search much about the tensile strength on the concrete so you have to check about the ten tensile strength to make sure it's not over the uh, low pole design strength tensile strength or the concrete for the basement wall the fridge roll you keep one one and for the coupling beam for the pitch roll, we reduct it to the 0 0.5 and for the slab, we use 0 0.5 and for the beam, we use 0 0.7 and for the column, we use 0 0.9 This one for the service, okay? You can modify this thickness and check for the service In my, tu my, my tutorial, you can check